Hey, hi everyone, I'm Laura. This is Jalen and Addison, and today we're gonna to talk to you about jetpacks. Um, through this presentation, we're going to inform you on the jetpacks in the hope that you'll wanna buy one. Are you tired of waiting in traffic? No. While wasting expensive fuel? Well, look no further, my friend. There's a solution to those problems. Introducing the Sue Me Jetpack. <laughs> These new jetpacks run on compressed air, so no fuel is involved. Think of all the money you'll save. Worried about crashing into something? Don't worry. All of our jetpacks come pre-included with a bike helmet for complete safety. And who cares if you crash into something? You'll look like the coolest person around. This jetpack is now available for the low, low price of $99.99.95. The Sue Meat Industries Jetpack. We put the Sue in super awesome. on our jetpack and we hope this builds interest in jetpacks for you for our presentation and we hope you enjoy the rest. So there are a couple of key reasons why we believe you should buy a jetpack and these reasons are as follows. It will save you money first and foremost because you won't need a car. The new technology will set you apart in the world today and you'll be part of an up and coming trend to be like a trend starter. Now that you have seen the video and know some reasons to listen, we are going to show you why you should buy a jetpack and the <laughs> pros and cons are today. You may be asking yourself, how will, how will buying a jetpack impact your life as an individual? Well, Jalen is going to answer this question for you today. first inventor who's tried to build a personal flying device. But Martin does plan on being the first to make retail, easy-to-use jetpacks available for sale to anyone brave enough to launch themselves airborne. I believe that by the end of the year we will have some, particularly of our commercial customers, uh, who will be flying regularly. Two duct rotors blow down high-speed airflow that is controlled by three pairs of rudders. Engines of V4 2 litre engine, putting out about 200 horsepower. And not to mention, a parachute that is released if the computer thinks you're flying out of control. Fewer than 100 people have ever actually taken off in one of these. But Martin says he's received thousands of requests. And not only from wealthy adrenaline junkies who can afford the 100,000 US dollar price tag. We've been approached, I think, by five different militaries, uh, about six different governments. Um, People are looking at using this in border patrol through around a lot of the sensitive borders in the world. He won't say which ones, but insists that if the company had a hundred of these on the shelf today, they'd be able to sell them by tomorrow. Martin envisions a future where a typical day would include flying to work with a quick landing at the gas station for some petrol and a cup of coffee on the way. So for when you buy a jetpack, uh, according to the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we think that buying a jetpack would fall into the self-esteem uh, self step because you'll be the first one to have a jetpack compared to everybody else and we think that it'll just boost your self-esteem because no one else will have one and you'll just look really cool. Uh, you'll be a trendsetter. Um, now you just need to imagine flying to work in a jetpack with the air blowing through your hair and everybody's looking around you on the sidewalk, whispering to themselves, I wish I had a jetpack. That guy looks so cool. I want to be his friend. Everybody, you'd be the envy of everybody. Next, we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of buying a jetpack. Uh, we clearly think that the pros outweigh the cons. So when you buy, one of the pros would probably include that, as I've said before, you're going to look really cool compared to everybody else. 
Um, you're going to avoid traffic jams, so you can fly over everybody, or you can take shortcuts that you never were able to take to work and such. And you can also save money on fuel, because you won't have to use fuel in your cars to drive to work. Because as you saw there, we'll either use wind turbines or we'll use compressed air with generators. Um, some of the cons that we kind of figured that may happen. Uh, right now, it's only one person at a time, so you can't fly tandem. Uh, it's kind of one of our problems, so you may have to buy more than one jetpack for your family if you want to go somewhere. Um, another one of our problems was what happens to the people directly below the jetpack. If there's like forced air blowing down on them, there's been people suffering discomfort and stuff. So that might not be one of our best ideas. Uh, we're working to fix that right now so that the air doesn't cause discomfort to the people below. Uh, next we're going to come up to our survey results. So we surveyed 10 people in this classroom about their knowledge of jetpacks and such. Uh, according to everybody in this classroom, everybody knew about what jetpacks were. But most had little to none knowledge of what the current technology was in jetpacks today. Uh, according to our, also according to our survey, 60% of people said that they would rather buy a car over a jetpack, citing reasons such as they like driving cars or something like that. 30% uh, of people said that they would pay as much as it takes to buy a jetpack, and we like those people because those people are really go-getters. 70% um, of people said that they want the jetpack to travel over 100 kilometers. So we think that these people would want to use it for vacations and stuff like that, which, according to this, we can use jetpacks to fly over 100 kilometers. You can use them for vacations or go long distances to like Calgary or Medicine Hat. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, people rated a 6 for being afraid of heights which is good because we are going to make our jetpacks so that they don't go above a certain height that you can put into the jetpack. So it'll always monitor your height and make sure that you don't go out of your comfort zone. Uh, next up come the ramifications of buying a jetpack, of not buying a jetpack. If people didn't buy jetpacks, they would cause more of an impact on the environment because they would be driving cars instead. When you buy cars, you have to buy fuel to go along with the cars, and right now, they're taking fossil fuels out of the ground, and that's causing more of an impact on the environment, especially when the exhaust comes out of the cars, and that's causing CO2 to go into our atmosphere. So next, Addison's going to speak his part on satisfaction. no longer the product of good imagination, sci-fi movies, and GTA San Andreas. They're fast becoming reality. <laughs> Take this one at a defense exhibition in Dubai, for example. Visitors were allowed to test fly it using a flight sim, but its designers actually have much bigger plans for it. It has the ability to climb at more than five meters a second. It took the Martin Aircraft Company 10 years to develop the jetpack. Each one's worth 100,000 US dollars. They can travel at around 100 kilometers per hour and can fly at heights of up to 1,500 meters. Initially, it was designed with only leisure in mind, but Martin's extended the scope of its use to a number of other sectors, including emergency response and defense. We've had a lot of interest from special forces. Uh, we've had a lot of interest for using it to forward resupply, to take food to troops or 100 kilograms of something to troops. Uh, this can fly into places where helicopters can't. It uh, can fly up and down streets in the city, so crowd control, uh, observation, uh, border patrol. It is a lot more cost effective than a helicopter, and you don't need a trained pilot to fly it. Anybody can fly it. And if you think it doesn't look too safe, don't worry. It was designed with the pilot's safety in mind, and it does have a parachute. Okay, if you live within the city, the jetpack would probably be the ideal method of transportation for you. Uh, no more throwing away money on gas every month. Uh, also, you're not emitting CO2 into the atmosphere, right? So, pretty good for the environment. Uh, no more waiting in busy traffic. You can uh, fly your destination much more quickly just by flying above it. And you will no longer need to bake in your car in the summer because you can enjoy a nice cool breeze while flying to your destination. Uh, of course, some people may have some objections to buying a jetpack over a car. Uh, one such objection would probably be price. Uh, 
it is an advanced piece of technology, so it is pretty expensive. Uh, while it is expensive, we do offer low interest financing. Um, and as you saw in our commercial, each jetpack comes with a helmet and a parachute, so there's less chance of you dying. Okay. Uh, and the last obje objection would be pass-through travel. While you really only can use one jetpack per person, we are, we are going to offer ropes and straps to carry passengers. So as long as you don't exceed over 400 pounds, you should be all right. <laughs> and, okay, go back. And you don't have to worry about damaging your jetpack really bad like that, because if you're in a serious accident, you're probably just going to die. <laughs> <laughs> now that we have debunked all the possible objections that anyone could ever have, just imagine if you had your own jetpack. No longer would you have to walk or drive to work in the hot summer. You could uh, enjoy a nice cool breeze while traveling to your destination, saving a lot of time, energy, and frustration. And you'll look like a real winner doing it too. So. Okay, so in conclusion, we talked to you today about jetpacks and how they can improve your life and fulfill your personal needs. To us, the pros definitely outweigh the cons in this case, and we feel that jetpacks would be perfect for you guys. Um, we'd ask you to do some further research if you're interested in it, and we also have kiosks set up in malls near you today. So thank you for enjoying our presentation, and thank you for letting us talk to you about jetpacks.